Hello, welcome to a presentation on Solaris 11 Boot Environments. I'm your host, Gabriel Smith. The scope of this presentation is to provide you with the information that you need to get started managing Solaris 11 Boot Environments. We have a few objectives. We want to figure out what the definition of a boot environment is. We want to learn how to list boot environments on our system. We want to learn how to create boot environments. We also want to learn how to install packages onto a boot environment. We want to learn how to create snapshots or backups of a boot environment. We also want to make snap snapshots active and we want to learn how to destroy a boot environment. What's a boot environment? I have here Oracle's definition. I'm going to read it to you really quickly. A boot environment is a bootable instance of the Oracle Solaris operating system image plus any other application software packages installed into that system. System administrators can maintain multiple boot environments on their system and each boot environment can have different software versions installed. The common abbreviation for boot environment is BE. That's capital B, capital E. So let's explore this definition a little bit further. You know, basically you can sum up a boot environment and just make things simple and just say that it's just a copy, just a copy of your operating system. You may have a production server in which you don't have a UAT environment of, you don't have a dev environment of, maybe because uh, it's a legacy application that you installed on Solaris 11 and you couldn't afford to have multiple servers for this environment. And for whatever reason, you decided not to go with virtual machines. So in that case, even if you did decide to go with multi, uh, virtual virtual machine to create a dev and UAT environment, uh, boot environments could still be useful. So at any rate, let's say you have a production copy of your operating system. You could make a backup or snapshots of that uh, production copy. You can use change requests, so you could implement change requests uh, without the risk of corrupting or damaging that production operating system uh, because each one of these environments are separate. You could also install software or packages without the risk of corrupting the production uh, boot environment. So boot environments is a way, it's another form of uh, isolation uh, in the sense that you're not going to tamper with the production environment or your main operating system. To list the boot environments you currently have in your system, you just type BAtom list. That is the syntax. Here's an example of BAtom list. We can see that we currently have one boot environment, Solaris, and you can see the boot environment is currently active, which is represented by N, and you can see that the boot environment will be active upon the next reboot, which is represented by the R. To create a boot environment, you want to use the command batom create and then you use uh, the boot environment name that you want to use. So batom create and then the, the new boot environment name. Here's an example of that. We've used batom create and we are going to create a new boot environment called S11 for Solaris 11 image 1. Uh, and then we use uh, the command batom list to list that boot environment. So now you can see that we have two boot environments, Solaris 11 image 1, that is not currently active and it won't be active on the next reboot. To install packages on a boot environment, we have two situations. One situation is where the package is where the boot environment does not exist and the other situation is where the boot environment in which we want to install the package on does exist. So if you want if the boot environment does not exist and you want to create a boot environment you use the command uh, package install the boot environment name that you want to create and well I'm sorry it's actually package install and then the switch dash dash be dash name and then you provide the new boot environment name and then you provide the name of the package that you want to install. 
In this example, we're going to install uh, the package nmap. So the syntax that we are using is uh, package install with the switch dash dash be dash name. We're naming the new uh, boot environment Solaris 11 image 2, which is quite different from the Solaris image 1 in the other slide. And then finally, we're listing the package name, which is nmap. And this is just some of the output that you would see. There's more of it. It's been cut off uh, just so that I could fit it on the screen. Here's the example of a completed package install. Now, in the situation where the boot environment already exists, you first have to mount that boot environment in order to install package. The way you would do that is to first make a mount directory. So you would type mk uh, make directory and then the directory name. And then shortly after that, you want to use bitum mount, the name of the boot environment, and the mount point. Here's an example of that make directory we're calling it boot environment uh, BEM and the com after we've made the directory we're going to use the command BAdam mount Solaris 11 image 3 slash BM which is our mount point now when we do a BAdam list we can see that the new boot environment Solaris image 3 has been mounted once mounted, we can use we can now install the package. You use the syntax pkg minus r, the mount point install, and then the name of the package. Here's an example of that: pkg minus r, the mount point slash bem, and install, and the name of the package we're going to install. And again, the output will look the exactly as the same as uh, the other slides. Okay, so if you just want to confirm that the package has been installed on that, on that particular boot environment, you can type PKG minus R, capital R, the, uh, the mount point, and then list, and then the name of the package. And here's an example of that. We type PKG minus R uh, slash BM list in map, and we can see that the package is actually installed on that boot environment. It doesn't actually, this output doesn't really indicate that it's been s installed on our boot environment, but we know where that boot environment is mounted and we can assume, or we know, it's not really an assumption, it's a fact that the package has been installed on the boot environment, even though the name of the boot environment is not in this slide. Okay, so uh, to create a snapshot, we want to use the syntax be Adam create the name of the boot environment that we want to create a snapshot of, and then a description of the snapshot. Here's an example of that be Adam create Solaris, which is our main boot environment, and we're calling the snapshot Solaris 11 backup one. You could also put dates and other indicators in the description so that you know exactly uh, the time and the date that you created the snapshot. So in order to see the snapshot we actually have to do bitum list with the switch s for snapshot and we can see at the bottom that the boot environment was created. Okay so if you want to make that boot environment active or if you want to use that boot environment you actually have to it's actually not a snapshot isn't bootable so it, it technically is not a boot environment is a snapshot so in order to boot that snapshot you actually have to create a boot environment with it so you use the syntax b atom create minus e and then the snapshot name and then the new name of the boot environment that you would like to create here's an example of that b atom create minus e and we're using Solaris at Solaris 11 backup one which is the name of our snapshot this complete name is a snapshot and then we're calling it Solaris 11 recover one okay so oh wow it looks like we have some stuff cut off here okay so alright so at some point you want to 
safe space by deleting unused boot environments. The syntax for that is batom destroy and then the name of the boot environment. Here's an example of that batom list and then we're going to batom destroy Solaris 11 one Solaris 11 recover one and then it gives the confirmation and then it pretty much just destroys it. Now the information that was chopped off on the other slide is actually in the ex is in this example. If the boot environment was mounted and you wanted to destroy it, you would have to type B Adam U mount Solaris image three, Solaris eleven image three, and then once you unmounted it, you would type B Adam destroy Solaris image three, and here is this is basically an example of that and then we list it and we can see that the S11 image 3 is no longer there. Uh, uh, you could also type BAtom list minus S to see the snapshots. Uh, we currently have one snapshot called Solaris 11 install. To destroy it you type BAtom destroy and then the name of the snapshot and it confirms it and then you can do a B atom list minus S and you can see that snapshot has been deleted. That concludes this presentation. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, if you want a copy of this presentation, email me at busy386 at gmail.com.